All right guys, Shepherdess at Harmony Farms here coming at you today with a beginner's guide to buying sheep. I recently came off of a flock expansion project here at Harmony Farms. It was the first time we had opened our flock in three years. You guys know that I just bought the flock this year, but my parents made the original purchase in 2017. So the time came to bring in some genetic diversity and I wanted to do so in such a way that I would be able to, once again, close my flock. What I'm getting ready to share with you is really kind of me just jumping back to my former self. Saying things that either I heard and was really helped by, or saying things that in retrospect I wish I would have done. Also going to be sharing with you a bit of a lesson that I brought back from the School of Hard Knocks. Also really quickly, I am going to include a snippet on the importance of quality over quantity as a beginner in purchasing livestock. This advice is from Mr. Carl Abel, who spoke at the Small Farmer Virtual Meetup. I started with, uh, my idea was Angus-based black cattle, but I must say I was not picky enough with mm. the first cattle that I bought. That's a good point. I think focusing on something that's grass-fed, focusing on something that is a good quality grass-fed genetics yeah. is important because once you start it takes a long time to change what you already yes. have right. so if you can start with something really good man you're way ahead and i'm going to address it all in three pockets. Number one would be what to avoid. Number two is what to ask before making your purchase. And number three is what to do once you bring the livestock home. And I'm not going to ignore the most obvious question that keeps coming across my screen and that is where did you find your sheep and how did you settle on such quality? The answer, plain and simple, while still maintaining a bit of mystery, is that I just used my skills in internet research to compile a list of sources. And from that list of sources, I went through basically their sheep and their system to decide which was a good fit for me. All of this is predicated first and foremost on knowing the operation. Because unless you know the operation you are buying from, you have no way of knowing what that animal is going to bring into your system. You are not just buying an animal. You are bringing onto your farm the system it was raised in. I bought a ewe that was about a third of the price of what it ought to have been for a registered ewe. I was very excited. Once I showed up on site, I realized it had been raised in a seven by seven shed and probably fed nothing more than corn and molasses its entire life. And once I brought it home and put it into quarantine, it immediately displayed signs of mastitis infection. Long story short, this animal took me on a series of one bad experience after another. And at the end of it all, vet tests, antibiotics, and extended quarantine procedures, this animal went from a very good deal to tripling in price. And at the end of it all, she is on the coal list because the mastitis in her udders appears as though it rendered her incapable of feeding offspring. So I'm gonna share that with you guys in all humility. I am not pleased with my judgment on that front. But when I say you are bringing in a system as much as an animal, 
Just please know I'm saying it from experience. So what to avoid when buying sheep, especially as a beginner? And I will say avoid sale barns. Do not make any purchases as a beginner at a sale barn. I went to a sheep specific and a Dorper sheep specific sale barn. While I will not bash sale barns or completely negate that there may be a deal to be found there, I have been given firsthand information from multiple sources that sale barns are often where ranchers and farmers will send their cull animals. Furthermore, it doubles back to buying from a sale barn, you have no connection to how the animal was brought up and how it was taken care of. So let's get to what to ask before buying. And I'm gonna go through a list of some questions that were really important to me. Eventually, you're gonna to have to formulate a list for yourself and just base these questions on how you plan to raise your sheep once it's back on your farm. First on the list of questions to ask is actually, what are you feeding this animal? and it may seem totally base level, but you might be surprised at the answers you get. For me personally, I was kind of naive and I expected the answer to be, well, grass, of course. But in most cases, they are on some type of grain feed supplementation. And it's important to know this so that you can wean them off of that feed and onto pasture. Just avoid sheep that have had zero access to fresh pasture. Now, everybody raises sheep differently, but when you go, you need to make sure that the animal has had regular access to fresh pasture. And by regular, I mean a minimum of 45 minutes per day. This is actually a bit of advice I got from a 20 year sheep veteran. And she told me something very concerning. She said animals that do not have at least 45 minutes of access to pasture every day are highly susceptible to a specific disease. And this disease is a total plague for any flock that brings it in. What kind of vaccines did this particular animal receive? A lot of people have different opinions on vaccines in general, but regardless of your opinion, it's a good idea to ask what vaccines the animal has had, if any. Number three is hoof care. For me personally, it is important to know that the sheep I am buying has received hoof maintenance. So that is a question on my radar. Another question that is really important to ask the breeder is how do you manage parasites in your flock? But it's really gonna be important that if you buy a sheep, you maintain that parasite management regimen and before changing it or overhauling it for that animal, you need to make sure that that animal is responsive to your new tactics. All right, so what do you do once you've found your animal, you've purchased your animal, and you bring it back to your farm? It is advisable to quarantine anywhere from 10 days to eight weeks. And this is probably gonna double back to how well you know your source. The less you know about how this animal was brought up, the longer you need to quarantine. For me, I designated a quarantine spot for my sheep. It was initially a gated corral. And then as it progressed, I designated a spot out of my pasture rotation, a spot that my sheep do not graze regularly, which was my front yard, basically. I put the animals in my front yard so that if any problems erupted, my main flock would not even be grazing where that problem animal touched. So designate a quarantine pasture because 10 days to eight weeks, I don't know that I would advise keeping an animal in a pen for that long because problems could arise that are not a result of the animal's previous care, but a result of the fact that you have just penned them up for, for eight weeks. But just make sure you give the animals time on fresh grass and just watch those animals like a hawk. Have your veterinarian on speed dial. Don't ignore anything and extend the quarantine before putting it in with your flock. Mm -hmm. 
while my first major livestock buy-in was not without faults, um, I'm really grateful to the Lord because I did make it a matter of prayer in my flock specifically and I believe he led me to some really good sources and he really spared me from a lot of potential problems. The flock at Harmony Farms is closed for the foreseeable future. I have four sets of genetics that will be capable of producing two independent bloodlines. With this genetic diversity and some careful herd planning, or rather flock planning, I believe I will be able to generate quality for generations to come here on the farm. Any experienced livestock buyers, please leave in your comments. Is there something on your list for buying in livestock that I did not put on mine? Comment below and let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.